Environmental engineering has changed how I think about my impact on the world, um, specifically in relation to the environment, but uh, also to social structures and economic structures that we deal with. The main thing that kind of has drawn me to environmental engineering is the fact that I've spent a lot of my life in and around the outdoors, and that has kind of led me to have a super great appreciation for the natural spaces that surround us and a really big desire to protect them. A lot of the engineering disciplines, like uh, civil engineering or chemical engineering, all of them are moving towards like more environmentally friendly practices, and environmental engineering just covers all of that. My name is Chris and I am a third year environmental engineering student at UBC. The environmental engineering program is basically a combination of those courses within civil engineering and within chemical and biological engineering that focus on environmental issues and topics. My name is Greg Lawrence. I'm a professor in the Department of Civil Engineering here at UBC and my specialty is in the field of environmental fluid mechanics and together with Majid I'm one of the co-directors of this program. My name is Majid Mohsani. I'm a professor here at the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering. Many of our society's challenges have to do something with the environment, whether it's uh, climate change, whether it's clean water and sanitation, whether it's air quality. So those requires a skill set that our environmental engineers have. Now, of course, our students will have the opportunity to go through the co-op programs. Many of those employers uh, of the co-op students are also the ones that are part of the advisory group for our, uh, our program. So the relationship with industry is embedded within the program. My name is Ben and I'm a third year environmental engineering student. For my co-op, I worked with uh, Environment and Climate Change Canada, measuring the flow rates of rivers during the 2021 November floods in BC, which was very exciting. So I got to go to both Merritt and Princeton um, and do some field work to try to determine what the flow rates were of the rivers that helped inform uh, decision makers on what they should do during the floods. That really gave me a good opportunity um, to kind of expand my fieldwork skills and apply a lot of the knowledge I'd learned in school. I'm Abby Taylor. I'm in my third year of environmental engineering here at UBC. Last year I worked with a drone reforestation company um, doing kind of plant science experiments and field work as well involved with that. I think it's super important to focus on things like that that can be scaled and can have a big impact in terms of carbon emissions and carbon sequestration. The small cohort and the small class size allows the students to know each other quite well and work well with one another quite effectively. But also it helps them to build a community that really uh, is to their advantage. When they graduate, they all go through the program and that sense of belonging and the community is one of the great features of the program. My name is Victor Pham and I am a third year environmental engineering student at UBC. So I really think that in order to be successful in this program, you have to get to know your teammates pretty well. So group projects, things like that, um, not only are they your teammates for the project, but they will be your people in industry as well. 20 years down the road, you'll be working with the same people. Um, I really like the environmental engineering community. Um, I think it's just due to the nature of everyone having similar interests. Um, it's easy to connect with people because everyone has such similar interests. Um, and every group project I've done, I've, I've had nothing but good experiences so far. If someone has the aspiration, has the desire to make a change in the world, environmental engineering gives them the opportunity to actually fulfill that dream.